did was provide a, a good quality lump of coal or a lump of clay for them <laughs> to mold. And the ladies in the prison and Sherry and Sylvia did all the molding. And uh, I'm pretty sure that he could have been matched up with anybody. But we are thrilled to death, uh, and I say we, my, myself and my wife, that he did get matched up with Garrett. Yeah. We were kind of in hopes that he would be matched up with somebody maybe here in our valley area. God had a different idea. Yeah. He said, no, we're going to send him to Virginia. And you guys are probably never going to see him again other than on film or in a picture. Yeah. I know. It's a Which is it's a bit bitter, bittersweet, but that's what we wanted for it. So you are breeders? Yes. 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 So tell me about how you guys got into this program. Always wanted to do this um, as far as you know, getting dogs for service animals. You know, we're both vets and you know, one of our great desires is that the dogs you know, try and be placed with wounded warriors. And you know, Rick, you know, who I uh, was a sire for our female, uh, we agreed through the means of a, a, a mutual friend of ours, who unfortunately diagnosed with multiple sclerosis, right. who's also a trainer. She got picked with a litter. We got three dogs currently in CST in the in the program. Another went to another uh, service industry dog. <laughs> Does she remember coming here? Because you had to come here too, right? Yes. Yes? Were you nervous? Very. <laughs> Don't know why. This one, I fell in love with right away. Wow. Come a long way. Uh, we had some rough spots. It's real tough to come here and work as hard as we have to work. And you've all done an unbelievable job. Um, we're really proud of all of these teams. You all passed with flying colors. And we're going to get <laughs> and I want to thank Canine Support Teams and everybody else who supports us that we can give independence to folks with disabilities one dog at a time. Have this big of a dog come into your life when you haven't had a dog, it 
Vera gets the Bravery Award. <laughs> I would like to say something about Vera. Vera took about four falls during the training, and she never once gave up. She just got right up and went on, and she didn't feel sorry for herself. And she just is a real trooper. Uh -huh. You have a service, you have a dog that will not let you down. All it wants is your love, your respect, and occasional treat. <laughs> all that passed, and it's my honor. Salute you and wish you well. Each of you have a rest coming. Enough uniform. But that option's up to you.